Hi, this is Amy Tanatorn, StrollerEnvy.com, and this is the Miyamoto Atmosfera. I was quite excited when I discovered the Atmosfera because it's one of the few convertible or reversing uh, seat strollers that cost under $250. Most of these reversing street seat or convertible strollers will run you $400 and over. So I was very excited to see such a high, highly rated and economical stroller under $250. So I'm excited to show it to you today. Let's get started with the seat. Your child gets a snack tray with a nice deep uh, cup holder with a nice gripping rim. And it's very easily removable. You just pop out uh, the buttons and out it comes. The seat on the stroller has a nice five padded five point safety harness. Now I had heard in reviews that the seat is rather small, so I decided to really research that. And what I discovered is that the uh, width, if the narrowest point is only 10 inches across. The seat back is only 16 inches high. And I tested this stroller with a 17 month old toddler and his head came up to about here and his feet rested comfortably at the bottom of the footrest. So this stroller, your child may outgrow it by the time he or she is about two or two and a half with his average height. And there's a 40 pound weight capacity on this seat. So keep that in mind when you are considering this stroller. There's a very nice one-handed uh, you pull a lever for the seat recline and it reclines into three positions and the lowest position is flat. Now I've seen on other stroller reviews that there is a mesh panel on the back. However, this black model does not have a mesh panel. I also like the adjustable footrest on this stroller just to push up the button and you can adjust it up. Now let's look at the reversing seat quality. What you do is you pull up on either lever, pull up, and you place it in the stroller frame. And there's an indicator on uh, beneath the lever that shows that it is uh, in properly. You can also use a Miyamoto brand car seat uh, if you don't want to use the toddler seat and have a nice uh, modern looking stroller system, travel system. Don't want to use a car seat? Let me show you one of the highlights of this stroller. It, the seat turns into a bassinet. What you do is you're going to flip up the footrest all the way and underneath is a fabric that uh, hooks on over the snack tray. and then you snap on either side of the seat. Once you get it all put together, you have a lovely little bassinet. Recline the seat all the way back, put the hood all the way forward, and your child is completely enclosed. And it's just a wonderful little bassinet for your newborn child. You may have noticed this wonderful canopy. It has an extra panel that you can unzip to make it larger and it comes down almost to the snack tray. And on the top of the canopy, we have a nice peekaboo window. It does have Velcro though, which is, uh, I would have rather had the uh, magnetic flap. And you see a uh, nice uh, peekaboo window uh, that's got uh, the vinyl and mesh so you can check in on your child. I really like the storage on the Miyamoto Atmosfera. The first thing you have is a small um, pocket in the back of the seat with a magnetic closure, which is the kind of closure I would have wanted to see on the peekaboo window. And it's just the right size to fit uh, small items. I really like the storage basket under here. It's easy access. It's plenty big enough for a large diaper bag and other necessities. And what I really like about it is that you can also have access from the front as well. Very easy. I love the brakes on the Atmosfera. Just one step engages them and one flip up disengages. The maneuverability on the Atmosfera is really good. I tried um, with a 30 pound 
weight and while it's not maneuverable one-handed with the weight capacity, with a lighter weight, such as a 20 pound toddler, you're going to be able to maneuver with one hand. Uh, I really like the locking wheels on this. It's super easy. The front swivel wheels on this are very easy. You can lock them into place with the flick of a switch okay, and flick it up, gets it back into swivel mode. You want to remove your wheels for easier storage, twist the top here, and it comes right out and then very easily snaps right back into place. Parents, you get a removable cup holder. We love our cup holders and this one can go on either side. So you're left-handed, right-handed, whatever makes you more comfortable. You, parents, you also get an adjustable height handlebar and it, it adjusts in five positions. And up here is the tallest. And I prefer mine about right here. I'm five foot seven and it really clears the way for long strides. Now let me show you the fold on the Atmosfera. The fold is one is a little bit tricky and there's been a few complaints online about the tricky fold. First, you're gonna make sure that your seat is facing forward. It, you can't fold it without the seat facing forward. Next, you're going to put the handle in the lowest position and press a little button on the side of the handle. Okay, and that's gonna take it all the way down. And then you're gonna pull this um, loop here and then that's going to put it into the folded position. There's an automatic lock on the back that holds your frame in place. To unfold the stroller, simply uh, release the lock and there is a uh, position on the basket to um, fold it out and when you have a green indicator on the um, frame here that shows you that you're good to go. Overall, the Miyamoto Atmosfera is a fantastic convertible stroller. It's great for newborns up to preschool years. Do keep in mind the small seat and the bulk of the stroller once it's folded and the tricky fold, but it's got a great suspension system. I love the way the seat uh, folds into a bassinet and the reversing seat. So please go to my website, strollerenvy.com, to see more photos, the detailed measurements, and other details. And thanks for watching.